And what shall I say further? For time would fail me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Japheth, of David and Samuel and the prophets, who by the help of faith subdued kingdoms, administered justice, obtained promised blessings, closed the mouths of lions, extinguished the power of raging fire, escaped the devouring of the sword, out of frailty and weakness, won strength and became stuart, even mighty and resistless in battle, routing alien hosts. Some women received again their dead by a resurrection. Others were tortured to death with clubs, refusing to accept release offered on the terms of denying their faith so that they might be resurrected to a better life. Others had to suffer the trial of mocking and scourging and even the chains and imprisonment. They were stoned to death. They were lured with tempting offers to renounce their faith. They were sawn asunder. They were slaughtered by the sword. While they were alive, they had to go about wrapped in the skins of sheep and goats, utterly destitute, oppressed, cruelly treated. Men of whom the world was not worthy, roaming over the desolate places and the mountains and living in caves and caverns and holes of the earth. And all of these, though they won divine approval by means of their faith, did not receive the fulfillment of what was promised. Because God had us in mind and had something better and greater in view for us. So that these heroes and heroines of faith should not come to perfection apart from us before we could join them. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and sleepless nights. But when I look around, and think things away all of my good days away my bad days I won't complain God's been good to me. He's been real good to me. More than this old world could ever be. I won't complain.